Why must pre and post repair scanning be part of your battery electric vehicle and hybrid electric vehicle collision repair process? I'm Jason Stahl and we're going to find out next in the AirPro Diagnostics Collision Garage. The integration of ANAS systems has truly made battery electric vehicles and hybrid electric vehicles computers on wheels and, much like our phones and mobile devices, they're constantly being upgraded. Special consideration should be given to EV scanning, especially when the vehicle experiences a collision. To scan a battery electric vehicle and hybrid electric vehicle, you have to switch on the ignition, a step that's a bit different than turning on the ignition for a combustion vehicle. The EV has a traditional ignition mode where your display lights up. This happens when you engage the vehicle's start button without pushing the brake pedal. In this mode, you cannot drive the vehicle because the high voltage contactors in the battery are still open and the system is not live. The advantage of this mode is that you can scan the vehicle with no high voltage danger, which is always recommended. The second mode is called the ready mode. In this case, the driver pushes the start button with the foot on the brake. The vehicle display will show ready. This means the battery contactors are closed and the system is live. Especially if the vehicle was in an accident, this mode should be avoided because it could have life-threatening consequences. Some EVs may have a limited accessory mode on initial IG switch push with no brake pedal application. Collision industry terms can often be interpreted more than one way and that can lead to confusion. For example, if you send a vehicle out to a sublet vendor and say it just needs a scan, the sublet vendor may simply plug in the scan tool and clear codes, then return the vehicle as complete without performing the appropriate diagnostics. In addition, many ADAS sensors and modules do not know they were replaced or that any calibration is required. So you'll need to make your sublet vendor aware of the calibrations required. To prevent confusion, start by searching OEM calibration requirements to identify the ADAS parts that will require calibration when repair operations occur that affect them. Next, you'll need to provide a detailed list of all the processes that need to be completed. Better still if the list includes the actual OEM procedure the vehicle needs. This will eliminate a lot of confusion around what needs to be done, while improving cycle time for all involved. How can you be assured the scans you perform are accurate? This begins with properly working and updated tooling and equipment. Whatever equipment you use, it's important that you go through regular checks and balances to ensure all scanning tooling and equipment is working properly. Many manufacturers have frequent and automatic software updates. Also, it's a good practice to power on off your equipment daily. Like many new advances, experience is the best teacher for building confidence and competence, and that comes with expert training. And training continues to evolve as OEM repair procedures are updated based on new models, materials, repair techniques, and more. When following proper OEM repair procedures, including pre and post repair scanning, questions or issues can arise. iCAR's Repairability Technical Support Portal was designed to be that real-time resource for the industry with their team of technical experts fielding your inquiries via Ask iCAR. It's easy and free to access RTS. You'll even find a real-time leaderboard of the top 10 trending OEM-specific repair questions, as well as general repair questions. It's all in an effort to help the industry perform complete, safe, and quality repairs for the ultimate benefit of the consumer. Ever been behind the wheel of an EV? As EVs continue to share our roads and neighborhoods, these vehicles will become more commonplace. Whether you have the key fob to one or not, you should connect with friends or family members to enjoy some time on the road in one. It's a totally different lens than most of us in the industry experience and is helpful to gain more confidence and insights in our EV world. For the latest iCar EV courses, visit the link on the screen. I'm Jason Stahl from the AirPro Diagnostics Collision Garage. Thanks for watching.